Hi, I'm Munira. And I'm Loga. And we, we are, are your presenters, presenters, sharing with you our research work entitled Boys and Girls Self Beliefs and Engagement in Learning Physics. This study is part of a two and a half year project called PBI 1 at School, studying the effects of physics by inquiry approach on secondary 1 students' attitude and aptitude in science. The objectives of the study are firstly, to verify the association between motivation and aspiration among students, and secondly, to check if the strength of the association differs for different gender groups. Researchers have found that students' self-beliefs and engagement in learning are associated with learning outcomes. Self-beliefs and engagement are two variables among many that represent motivation while aspiration is one of the factors that represents learning outcomes. There exists research work that claims that males and females have different levels of motivation and engagement in both school and workplace. In our present study, we have verified these claims and established that such claims are valid in the Singapore context for secondary 1 students. In this research work, we intend to test three hypotheses. Hypothesis 1. The motivational factor is correlated to the aspiration factor. Hypothesis 2. In physics, boys' self-efficacy is higher than that of girls. Hypothesis 3. Gender differences would be greater in self-efficacy and career aspiration, favoring boys. The participants of this research project are 7th graders which are called Secondary 1 students in Singapore. All 275 students are 13 years old. Among them, 100 were boys and 175 students were girls, and almost all of them are of Chinese ethnic origin. In Singapore, the medium of instruction in schools is English. Slightly more than half of them speak English at their, as their main language at home. For this study, three motivational factors and two aspiration factors are studied. The three motivational factors are self-efficacy, inquiry, and engagement, whereas the two aspiration factors are perceived job opportunity and future career aspiration. Self-efficacy is a factor to assess students' perceived ability to master the skills taught in physics classes. Engagement is a factor to measure individual engagement based on students' report of their attention and participation in their physics classes. The factor inquiry was designed specifically for the present investigation by us. Three items asked students the extent to which they engaged themselves in scientific inquiry. The, the perceived job opportunity measures students' views on the association between learning physics and job opportunity in the future. As for career aspiration, it is a factor to measure students' aspiration in a physics-related career in future. Examples of the questions asked under each factor will be given later. This research instrument is an online survey uploaded onto the school online portal and was open to all secondary 1 students for one week. The students responded to the survey items on a 6 point scale from strongly disagree to strongly agree. For the 5 factors, there were a total of 21 items with 3 to 5 items in each factor, all asking the students perception specifically in learning physics. Procedures approved by the university's ethics committee were followed. Informed consent was obtained from the school and the parents of the students before data collection. We noticed that the alpha value for all the factors are more than 0.75, suggesting that the items in each factor are reliable. Here are some examples of the items under each factor. Self-efficacy. I can do almost all the work in physics if I do not give up. Engagement. I listen carefully when the teacher explains something about physics. For inquiry, I do not like to be told answers to physics problems. I prefer to work through the answers myself. Perceived job opportunity. I get more job opportunity if I know physics. Career aspiration. I want to have a career that applies physics to solve real life problems. Then we examine the factor structure of a 5-factor model with the 21 items in a confirmatory factor analysis CFA. The figure shows a diagrammatic representation of the CFA model. Model 1 was then compared with a single factor derived from the 21 items, which we name as Model 2. As expected, Model 1 had a good fit with a Tucker-Lewis index of 0.94 
and root mean square error of approximation of 0 0.06. Model 2 did not fit the data. This table shows the solution of Model 1 with 5 factors. All the items show an acceptable value of factor loading. All factor loadings are more than 0.5. Correlation values show that all the factors are positively correlated to each other. The highest correlation value is 0.79 between self-efficacy and inquiry. The value 0.79 is high but is still small enough for the two factors to be distinguishable from each other. Between the motivational variables and aspiration variables, the highest correlations are between self-efficacy and perceived job opportunity and between self-efficacy and career aspiration. It means that students who had higher self-efficacy tended to also have more optimistic views towards the link between learning physics and future job opportunities and have higher aspirations to pursue a career that is related to physics. Having established that self-efficacy is highly correlated to perceived job opportunity and career aspiration, we are interested to check if there is any significant difference between boys and girls. The item scores are averaged to form factor scores. The results show that boys had higher self-efficacy in physics than girls, where the average scores are 4.54 for boys and 4.17 for girls, respectively. The difference is statistically significant with an F value of 15.3. For engagement and inquiry, boys and girls did not differ. Although the average score for perceived job opportunity is higher for boys, the score was not significantly higher than that for girls. The F value is only 3.29. However, boys had a higher career aspiration and the difference was statistically significant with an F value of 17.88. Although the gender differences for self-efficacy and career aspirations are statistically significant, the small effect sizes 0 0.05 and 0 0.06 suggest that the difference is not large. Although the difference is small for these secondary 1 students, we would expect the difference between male and female students to grow, if left unchecked, as they move to higher secondary levels and eventually to tertiary education. To summarize, the results shows that boys and girls did not differ much in engagement, inquiry and perceived job opportunity in physics. It means that boys and girls tended to work similarly hard for physics lesson. At least that is how they perceive their engagement. They also engaged in scientific inquiry and possess similar views regarding future job opportunity in physical science. However, boys' self-efficacy in physics is much higher than that of girls. And for the learning outcome, boys had a higher career aspiration for a career related to physics compared to girls. We believe that these gender differences could have important implications. For example, the difference may magnify itself as years pass by and might be reflected significantly in the job market. We also have found that self-efficacy is positively correlated to career aspiration. Since more male students tend to have higher self-efficacy in physics, we expect that more male students would also aspire to have future careers related to physics compared to female students, which is true in our case. Unless the level of self-efficacy among girls is increased, girls would probably remain less inclined towards choosing a career that is related to physics. The current gender imbalance in the job market of physics related professions, especially in universities and research institutes, is very obvious. Therefore, it is extremely important to devise and consider ways to enhance girls' self-efficacy in physics so that more girls will be attracted to join the workforce.